afternoon, everybody. Ladies. Hey, Zane. So, how's life in the garage? Oh, it's an oven in there. Sorry I'm all hot and sweaty. Oh, uh, don't be. We couldn't picture you any other way. Not that we'd try. You know, Mrs. Drago, I never really thanked you for letting me keep my job when you got back from prison. I know you didn't have to. Oh, no thanks needed, Zane. You are a hot mechanic. And by that, of course, I mean good. Oh, still, it means a lot to me. I feel like I found a home here. Made some good friends. I joined the church. I'm even up for a role in the Christmas pageant. Really? Which one? God. <laughs> I just can't understand why those church ladies have me rehearsing in September. Let me guess. Does God wear a loincloth? Only in the workout number. You two are disgusting. We wanted you to stuff dollar bills in his jeans. The man does have to be paid. Could be that mother-daughter activity we've been looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I, I don't see it. What's this Zane got that I don't? A clue. <laughs> crack a dinner. Just so happens I've been up since three. And except for a brief nap, I've been up. Harry <laughs> brought in the mail. Hey, everybody. Sonny brought in the mail. Hey. Oh, hey. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, tomorrow maybe I'll bring in all of it. This is for you. Be careful, Mom. You dropped Dad's, uh, mm, property tax bill. Property tax bill? Carrie, what did I teach you about looking in other people's mail? Don't use steam if you can see through the envelope. <laughs> okay. What did I teach you about revealing mommy's little secrets? $4,000? I owe $4,000? I don't have $4,000. You also don't have any property, Sonny. I cleaned you out in the divorce, remember? All right. Gee, I never did thank you for that, Con. So this would be mine? Yeah. By the way, Gidney, that coffee will cost you $4,000. Damn. Uh, how much is the bagel? Oh, look. This is obviously a mistake. Not only did they leave your name on the tax rolls, but there's penalty and interest charges on a bill that's already been paid. Madeline? Yeah. You did pay the bill while I was in prison, didn't you? Oh, I don't know. There were so many bills that I paid. There was the gas bill, the electric bill, the phone bill, that guy Bill who kept blackmailing Carrie. I don't believe this. No, really, I have the negatives. No! I mean, you didn't pay the property tax bill, did you? Come on, Ma, we were squeaking by as it was. I mean, what were they going to do if we didn't pay? Throw you in jail? I better have my attorney look into this. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen old Ralph since the divorce. How is he, anyway? Still going for the throat. Funny, that's not what I lost. <laughs> well, back to bed. Sonny, I need you in the kitchen. Really? I mean, I want you in the kitchen. Oh, God. Sonny, get in the kitchen. <laughs> Sonny, this property tax bill wipes me out. I'm really sorry to hear that, Con. You thought of trimming some of the fat around here? Hey, meatloaf. Sonny, I'm talking to the fat. 
You're running up a tab at the cafe. You're you're taking up cabin space rent free. Well, the party's over. The gravy train has left the station. Stop me anytime you're getting this. There's gravy? Sonny, I need you to start pulling your weight. And I don't just mean from the refrigerator to the toilet. It's no problem, Con. Just get rid of Zane and give me back my old job as mechanic. Oh, no, 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 no. Now I see what you've been up to. Up to? Con, you injure me. No, that's plan B. You are just trying to get your old job back so everything will be the way it used to be. I'll forget all the horrible stuff between us and the next thing I know, I'm waking up in bed with you next to me. What am I wearing? The pillow over your face. I'm not firing Zane, so get out there and get a job. Oh, come on, Con. You know what the market's like. There aren't any good jobs out there. I don't need you to get a good job, Sonny. I need you to get any job. Hey, Sonny Drago doesn't take just any job. I'm a mechanic. I got my pride. Nuh-uh. I got that in the divorce, too. <laughs> Hey, Connie, Sonny's sure been making himself scarce. What's he been up to? Looking for work. Every day, nine to five. Any luck? No, and he's taking it pretty hard. Uh -huh. You know I almost feel sorry for him. <laughs> <sighs> there it passed. Job hunting can be pretty rough. How would you know? You've been a farmer all your life. Wrong, my portly stool sloth. <laughs> During the drought of 63, I moonlighted as a bartender. How'd that go? Pretty good up until they fired me. They said something about me being long-winded and talking the customer's ears off. Evidently, I was supposed to listen to their problems. <laughs> Man, what a day. Down on the pavement for eight hours, competing against guys half my age, a hundred guys out there for every job. Does anybody give you any respect? No. They just look at you like there's something wrong with you. Uh, hey, Sonny, your barn door is open. <laughs> Guess that didn't help, and you did it. Oh, come on, Daddy, you'll find something. Dwayne says they're always looking for people down at the station to test stun guns on. They pay $10 a pop, and they dump you right on your doorstep. Thanks, hon. Ugh. Oh, sorry, Con. I feel like I let you down. I feel like I let the whole family down. Oh, Sonny. Yeah. <laughs> but the important thing is you're trying. Oh, that's not enough, Con. I mean, a man without a job is not a whole man. Oh, look, why don't you go get cleaned up and I will fix you something to eat? Okay. Uh, by the way, when I said not a whole man, I meant a little short on self esteem. Nothing else. Everybody clear on that? Mr. Clear, yeah, sure. All right. Boy, is he bummed. Yeah. I can't remember when I've seen him so upset. Perhaps through a gun sight? <laughs> okay, then. But this might even be worse. He's starting to question himself. Oh, you know, I almost feel sorry for him. <sighs> oh, God, it didn't pass. <laughs> Madeline, go out to the garage and tell Zane I'd like to see him. Sure, Mom. What are you going to do? Fire Zane and give Sonny his old job back. Carrie, see if there's enough cash to give Zane his severance pay. It's showtime. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, Dwayne. Hello, Dwayne. Where's Dad? I want to hear all about his new job. New job? What are you talking about? Well, I just stopped by a burglary investigation out at the photo shack, and get this, some guy busts in, <laughs> opens a place for business, sells photo supplies all night, then takes off with the cash. Well, have you got any leads? Pretty good description and a uh, partial set of prints off the canister of film he sold me. <laughs> Somebody wake me when he gets to the point. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, well, the photo shack manager mentioned that he'd offered Dad a job, and Dad turned him down, so I assumed that he landed a better offer. I see. 
Well, everybody, excuse me. My ex-husband's had a hard day of job hunting. I have to go fry up his vittles. You mean you're not upset? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in his vitals. Thank <laughs> you.